there's actually this crazy assassination attempt from the Fedayeen under Arafat. So the Fedayeen are basically the Palestinian freedom fighters are under Yasser Arafat, and they actually kind of did some um, not so nice things in Jordan. You know, when they when they went there, um, they acted with impunity. They levied taxes, ignoring the laws. They, um, if they were hungry, the guerrilla fighters would break into the house while the owner was at work. Forces went to cook bread for them at gunpoint. They kidnapped people for ransom, killed people at random, confiscated cars, occupied homes, attacked hotels, trying to take foreign nationals hostage. You know, and obviously these aren't really nice things, but I mean, I don't think I would ever do these things, no matter what happens to me. But there, um, it's it's some pretty extenuating circumstances. I'm not saying that this is okay, but you have to remember that. These people just got their country stolen from them. So they're kind of going insane. They're kind of going sick over to Jordan. Anyways, the Fedayeen basically attack King Hussein while he's driving with two guys. Zaid Rifai is Harvard educated chief of the Royal Court and Sharif Nasir bin Jamil, this very barrel chested man who at the time was the chief of staff of the Jordanian army. So they basically get stopped at a roadblock, right? You know, one of his men, one of King Hussein's men, get out to move the roadblock. The guerrillas who were hiding in the hills come out and basically just like shoot at them like fucking crazy. And um, everyone piles out, and King Hussein shouts, "Shame on them!" Which is kind of a strange thing to say when you're being attacked. But this guy apparently had a strong sense of personal honor, and he believes that these assailants are nothing more than cowardly bandits. And you know, the two guys with him, Zaid Rifai and Sharif Nasser, they plead with him. To take shelter in your bright ditch, right? And, um, they s- <laughs> so, so this part's really funny. So, Zayn Rafai and the other guy, they dive to protect King Hussein when they're getting shot at, right? And they both fall on top of him. And so these two huge guys basically dog fall on top of poor King Hussein. And so, you know, sooner, sooner or later, the, the attackers are beaten back, I think, by like the other guys that are with them, right? And one the funniest part about this whole story is he's saying, Next time I'll take my chances with the Fedayim. You two did more damage than they ever did. And from that point on he had always complained about a bad back. <laughs> so it's really funny that the most damage that comes is from the people that tried to save him. And it actually reminds me of the story when I was with the homie Stevie. Um oh I should whatever. There's a lot of people named Stevie. So it's like, you know, I'm just, like, you know, driving around with the homie and we're just doing hood rat shit, right? We're just, like, in South Central. And he's talking to, like, you know, like, he's, like, walking up to, like, homeless. He's like, hey, what you got for me today? And they're like, oh, like, these people pay me, like, you know, stereo, TV, catalytic converter, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm just like, bro, like, you're, like, doing this shit, like, doing this fucking ghetto ass shit while I'm in the car. Like, what if, what if something happens to us, you know? And, you know, I just go around with Stevie. And the other homie had been just doing all this shit, right? All this shit that seems potentially dangerous, right? Just doing fucking hood ass shit. And sooner or later, they drop me back in my crib. And I'm like, all right, damn, like, Stevie always, like, in and out of jail. Stevie gets stabbed. Stevie got fucking bullet wounds on him type shit, right? And I lay in my bed, and I'm like, all right, I'm safe, thank goodness. I open up Citizen App, and it's, like, shooting one block away. And I was like, wow. So the place that I was the most in danger <laughs> was, was just, just in my house. This is some on my fucking block. That was the most dangerous part. Not South Central with all the fucking druggies. Not South Central going out of my home with the fucking drug dealer. It's my block. So not not the same exact thing, but it just there there's a little bit of a continuity, a little bit of a similarity there, right? Continuity is wrong. 